Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about compound. First of all, can you spot sugar in the periodic table? I can only see lithium, sodium, helium, and others. But these are just elements. I could not find anything like salt or sugar or chalk in the periodic table because the periodic table only shows the elements. So what are sugars? Sugars are actually compounds that are made of two or more elements that are combined chemically. And this new product has its own characteristics. For example, sugar just now, it is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And marble are made up of calcium, carbon, and oxygen. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. There are only 100 or more elements in this world. Just about 100 plus. But, if they are combined chemically, it can form more than 21 million compounds. Metals react easily with non-metals to form compounds. For example, metals react with oxygen to form metal oxide. For example, magnesium. Magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. And iron react with oxygen to form iron oxide. Metals also react easily with water to form alkaline compound and some metals react to form metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. And the equation looks like this. Metal react with water to form metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Examples of metals that react with water are lithium that will produce lithium hydroxide and hydrogen gas and potassium that will produce potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Metals also react easily with sulfur to form metal sulfide. As a conclusion, today you have learned the reaction of metal and non-metal. Non-metals such as oxygen, water, and sulfur. Metals react with oxygen to form an, a metal oxide. Metal react with water to produce metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. And the last one, metal react with sulfur to produce a sulfide. So in the next class, we will doing an an experiment of heating metal and non-metal to form a compound.